Welcome to part two. There's going to be no intro for any other tutorial in this segment. Like, no more tutorials for episode 21. So, I've edited the map a little bit. Um, if you'll notice, I've created a displacement over in the corner here. And I have changed a couple things. You'll notice right off the bat now that there's, there's no water. Well, the water's there, but you can't see it. Now what this means is, it's the easiest way to tell if there's a leak in your map. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to find how to block leaks. This is another thing that you need to know for optimization. This one's, this is going to be a really quick tutorial. So, other than the displacement, I've changed nothing. So, I'm going to go and counter, uh, hammer, and we can take a look at this. Alright, we're in hammer now. And our water looks completely the same, because that hasn't actually been changed. But I've created leaks in the map. And the easiest way to think of how a map is made is when Beavis compiles, it fills it with the brushes. It fills it with the brushes that are fizz leaves. Now, the way that I've learned this from a good friend named Fibs, he told me to think of your map as a fishbowl. And if there's a leak in the fishbowl or a hole, all the water leaks out. So, you want the water to stay in your fishbowl, or map. So, we have to find all the leaks. And a leak is created when an area portal doesn't work, or the inside of your map can get to the void. And the void is just the black area surrounding the map. And we're going to learn how to block these off. So, if you have a leak, you want to go to map, and then load point file. And now, you'll get a window that pops up load default point file question mark and it gives you file location you want to click yes now you'll see you have a red line drawn and what this red line drawn is it's where something is leaking out of the map now it'll always go to an entity do not delete the entity the entity is not causing the lag it's them it's the entities being able to get to the void that's causing the lag you see here it goes right through the, the displacement and now displacements cannot seal your map the only thing that is ever solid is World Brush. Not Funk Detail, not Funk Breakable, just World Brush. That's it. It's the only thing that can be solid. So what we need to do here is, there's nothing under this displacement. So we need to create something to go under the displacement. So the easiest thing to do would be, for me, is grab a surrounding brush, and just fill it. And I typically make sure that no draw is on it. But in this case, I'll leave it like that. So it doesn't blend. Alright, and another thing. When you're creating brushes, you want to do it in no draw. Like, if I were to recreate this wall, I wouldn't do it with this texture because it would, it would draw on, it would have an undrawn face that I wouldn't... It would have a face that's being drawn that you couldn't see, which is pointless. So just make sure you map in no draw and then use your face edit sheet to apply the textures face by face. Simple to do, helps you a lot. All right, and now after you've solved that leak, you wanna go to your run map and you turn viz and rad off and click okay. Now this is only compiling the BSP. If you load this up in Counter-Strike, it will be very laggy because there's no viz data and there will be no lighting because rad is off. You just wanna click X and now what that did is, if there's another leak, it found it. So then you go back to map and you click load point file They'll ask you to load default point file. And now we have another red line drawn. And you can see here that it just leaks right out of the map, right where the skybox would meet and this brush. So to do this, we just patch that up, compile the map again with just BSP. Then you want to load point file again. Oh, and look, we have one more leak. It goes right through this brush. But you see, this is a brush, but it's actually, if you press Alt Enter on it, it's a funk detail. So what you want to do to this one is move it to world. So you hold down control shift W and you move it to world. Now you compile one more time. Go to load point file. And now you know there's no more leaks when it goes and doesn't find a point file. That means that you're fine with leaks. You can unload the point file so that annoying red line is gone. And then that's it. That's how you solve leaks. Keep watching, the next part of the tutorial is going to be on hint and skip.